Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, we are going to continue our discussion on EMC consideration. For today, we are going to have a deep understand what is the effect of electric coupling or capacity coupling at both low and high frequency. Today will be the part seven series of discussion on EMC. So if you are keen to understand more about EMC, please refer to the video link under the description for the previous video. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by like and subscribe. So please press the like and subscribe button now. Thank you so much, guys. Let's do some circuit analysis to understand the effect of electric coupling at low frequency. This is the equation that we have compute earlier on. So what we want to understand from this equation is under a situation when it is in low frequency. Let's take a look on the demonometer here. So when the frequency is low, okay, which means that we have a small omega. Omega is equal to 2 pi f. So capacitor typically is also a very small number. So under low frequency, we can assume that one is many, many times larger than this number. So from here, okay, we can assume that this whole term can become a one since this one is many, many times larger than this number here. And because of this, the noise induced into conductor two from conductor one is actually dominated by this term here. From this term here, you can also see that okay, it's a function of frequency. The coupling effect from conductor one to conductor two the resistance and the magnitude of the driving force. Next, okay, we're going to understand in high frequency for electric coupling. Again, this is the formula. Okay, we're going to take a look on the demonstrator here again. So from this equation here, okay, we can conclude that this number here okay, is going to be much, much larger as compared to one. Okay, because again, this omega is equal to 2 pi f. And if we have a high frequency, then this whole number will be a big number. And when a number is big, which is much more significant than 1, then we can omit away this 1. And therefore, we have this formula, okay, which is the noise coupled from conductor 1 to conductor 2 under high frequency. Okay, again, okay, we can remove some of the term here. And we can simplify it that the induced voltage from conductor one to conductor two has this formula here. From this formula, you can see that it's not a function of frequency. It's simply like a DC source. After we compute all this low and high frequency, okay, we can draw this graph here in, uh, in order to understand better. So in this graph, this is frequency versus the noise that is induced to conductor two. Under the low frequency, okay, which is on the left, okay, is governed by this equation here. Okay, in this equation, you can see that it's a function of frequency. So, which means that when frequency increase, the noise voltage also increase. Okay, so over here, you can see that when frequency increase, the noise voltage also increase in a linear effect here. So, it keep on increase until it reach so-called a high frequency another set of formula actually come in. Okay, so this is the noise that is governed by high frequency. So from this equation here, you can see that it looks like a DC source. So therefore you can anticipate that the noise voltage will be saturated and basically will become a one straight line. So this is actually how does the electric coupling effect on low frequency here, and high frequency here. Okay, why is important to understand this low and high frequency? So what happened here is basically if you see there is some noise that couple under the low frequency, you can only resolve this by playing 
with this variable here. Okay, once you see that there are some noise that couple over at high frequency, okay, you can actually resolve it by taking a look on this term here. So this actually gives you some indicative how can you resolve the issue under electric coupling under two case, low frequency and high frequency. Next, okay, I'm going to give you some understanding on the effect of electric coupling. At low frequency, okay, the noise voltage is direct proportional to the frequency of the noise source. The resistor R, the capacitance C12, and the magnitude of B in. At high frequency, okay, the noise voltage produced at conductor 2, they actually behave like a DC source. It actually depends on the magnitude of B in C12 and C2G. Okay, so as illustrated over here. Next, I'm going to show you a very simple calculation example here. In the circuit below, the stray capacitor between conductor 1 and 2 is 50 picofarad. Each conductor has a capacitance to ground of 150 picofarad. Conductor 1 has a 10 volt AC signal at a frequency of 100 kilohertz on it. What is the noise voltage picked up by the conductor 2 if it is terminated with R, 10 ohm, and also 1000 ohm? So we're going to see the effect when the R actually at low value like 10 ohm and another one higher value like 1 kilo ohm. Okay, under 10 ohm, okay, this is a formula that we have proved earlier on. So what we need to do is omega is equal to 2 pi f. So the question given to us is 100 kilohertz. So therefore, this F is 100 kilohertz. Multiply by C12, okay, which is C12, which is 50 picofarad. So therefore, this is picofarad. The resistance is 10, okay, as mentioned here. And the driving AC source is 10. Okay, same over here. Okay, so this is 1 plus j omega, which is 2 pi f, multiplied by the resistance 10. Okay, the capacitor value of C12, which is 50 picofarad, and C2g, okay, which is C2g, which is 150 picofarad. So from here, we punch the calculator, the effect that induced over from conductor 1 to conductor 2 is 3.14 millivolt. So when R increased to 1000 ohm, Okay, you can actually repeat the same thing. Okay, from here, you can see that the noise induced over increase. So in short, the larger the R, the more noise will be induced on conductor 2. With this, I like to end my discussion. Okay, so please help by like and subscribe. Thank you so much.